Welcome back to Jelly Farms in Ecuador. Thanks for joining us today on the channel. We want to talk to you a little bit about the power outage update and what's happened. It has been interesting. Yeah, we haven't actually lost any here. No. Um, some people said they lost some in Vilcabamba the other morning, but I think that was just a freak outage. Yeah, that was the normal outages. I think so far as the planned outages, in the final hour, they came through and made some deals. Yeah, so here in Loja, I mean, uh, the Loja government in this province made the first deal. And so they, uh, now this is totally what I've been told. So, you know, it could be a little off, but I think it's close to correct. So they went to uh, two of the, the mines here in the province, uh, uh, the Chinese gold mines. And so they cut a deal with them because these mines had their own generators. So they're able actually to generate their own electricity. And so they cut a deal with the mine saying, stop using our electricity, run your generators, and we'll subsidize the fuel to run them. So, you know, kudos for the Loja government. They got right after it, made a deal with the Chinese mines, and decided that our power in this province was not going to be cut. Yeah, so it was only... The Loja province, the um, Zamora. Zamora. And then one. Um, one outside, yeah. One outside. So we we were not affected by the power outages, thankfully. I mean, yes. that has been a huge blessing. Yeah, but we, it makes you wonder, how can those mines use so much electricity that nobody else gets shut off? Yeah. Now, in our area, we have had a water outage. It hasn't affected us because we have lots of storage. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, the area of Moyapamba, the, the neighborhood, the barrio, Moyapamba, they've been without water all day yesterday, I guess. Or Yeah, they were without water. I don't know if it was all day, but it's back on today. Back on today. Sometimes, you know, in the dry season and then we get rains, mm -hmm. the ground moves a little bit and the tubes break. And yeah. that's just the way they, they call them tubules. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, that's, so that can happen. So, uh, on a larger scale, for the country of Ecuador, a deal was made. Tell well, us. I think they're making a deal. So, Lasso, the outgoing president, um, is working with Colombia and Peru to um, subsidize, to continue to subsidize uh, the power coming into Ecuador. Uh, Colombia was doing it, um, but then they said, you know, they too aren't getting that much rain. And... So they were going to say, okay, we could let you have power, but you can't use hydropower. If you can't use the hydropower and what we subsidized you with, we're going to, you know, basically charge you double. Um, but anyhow, Lasso made some deals, um, did what a businessman does, went out and made some deals. And uh, it sounds like he, he did okay with the deals and they will we will return the favor of getting that power for a, a you know a period of time but we have been having more rain so hopefully um it won't be a problem for that long yeah and so we cut a deal with colombia and peru mm -hmm. is that right yeah mm -hmm. so you cut a deal with those two countries they'll kind of subsidize our electricity a little bit yeah so hopefully you know cuenca will stop having these outages and um, some of those areas. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see. We've heard that um, Cuenca's infrastructure has not been um, sufficiently keeping up with the amount of growth in that area. So they may have different issues, but um, for now, for us, we're doing okay. Such are the challenges in a developing country. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, not just challenges of a developing country, but quite frankly, this country has been uh, somewhat robbed by politicians, and so a lot of funds got diverted to the wrong places that should have gone to infrastructure. Mm -hmm. And this uh, power project they've done with the Chinese has not come to fruition, not producing the kind of electricity they need. Hopefully that'll get rectified in the upcoming days. Oh, I don't know if that will be days, but I don't think anything happens here in days. <laughs> Depends on the context you take days in. Mm, yeah. This is true. There's a tranquilo mindset around here. It may be years. Mm -hmm. Who knows? So um, that's kind of all we have on the power outage update. Looks like everything's good. Hasn't affected day-to-day -day life here in Vilcabamba, one iota. No. Everyone's kind of kept doing their thing. 
We still got our generator over here on standby in case we need it. Mm -hmm. uh, power cord run where it needs to go. And so, uh, you know, life is good in Vilcabamba. So hope that uh, answers questions. Ciao for now.